You all in my business, and I don't like that. Because these quarters right here, I mom, no, I don't. No, I don't, because I be in everybody else's business. So how I'm going to talk about them being in my business? I be in they business, they business, they business, and everybody business. Because I'm going to neighborhood watch. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I go by Leash Renee. You may also call me Amazing Grace. Honey, it's whatever you decide to call me. And y'all, I just got back from the, well, today I went to the gym. As you know, that's my new little routine that I'm trying to do. And I just got out of the shower. But y'all know I always come with a gym chronicles because it's always something going on at the gym. It goes down in the gym. It goes down in the gym. But so I pull up in my car. It's a dude beside me and I notice he get out of whatever. He got on jeans and like a little t-shirt and like it didn't look like gym shoes. It was kind of like some, I don't want to say dress shoes, but like dress sneakers type shoes like oh you would wear them out somewhere so i just assumed the man worked at the gym you know what i'm saying like he finna start his shift even though he didn't have on like the attire that they wear i thought like maybe he about to change into it i don't know so then i get in the gym and i'm really minding my business because i really be minding my business in the gym because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know about it judging me. And I mean, that's why I stayed to myself, child. So I was like wiping the equipment down. And he comes up to me. Mind you, I wasn't really feeling my best today anyway. So I was kind of debating on whether I was going to go to the gym because I had a slight headache. So I wasn't really in the gym mood, but I made myself go. So he comes up to me, if y'all, I keep an AirPod in my ear. I don't know if people be missing that, but I be having it there. So he comes, well, actually, yeah, I'm I'm at the, now I'm wiping the machine, not the machine, I'm at the cleaning station. So I'm about to get my napkins and my sanitizer. He was like, "What? what's today? I said, Tuesday. What did I use? Tuesday. He was like, nah, what's today? I said, Tuesday. Now, I know people who meet me who don't know me really genuinely probably be thinking she's an asshole because sometimes I say stuff and really don't be realizing because I'm in my own thoughts. I don't really be knowing what you be talking about. So I answer it the way that I take it. He was like, no, like, is it leg day, back day, arm day? I was like, oh, uh, back and arms. He was like, all right, cool. So I just thought that that was it. Now, I didn't know what he was doing because I never seen this man working out. And then I look over there and he pump it, pump it, pump, pump, pump it on one of the machines. I said, I know you can lie. He ain't up in this gym with no damn near look like Nike boots on, some jeans and a fitted t-shirt and a fitted. Y'all, I lie to you not. This man looked like Jim Jones coming straight out of Harlem. Like, for real. When I tell you this man reminded me of Jim Jones, every bit of him, I was like, where is Chrissy at? Because this is Jim right here. So, I was like, <laughs> and then he could have sounded like he was a little bit from New York. I was like, these, these New York people, I don't even want to say people. It be the men. The New York men, they a different type of breed of dudes. I'm telling y'all. So, I was just like, whatever. So, then after that, I wipe off my machine. And he done changed machines by then. So, after he talked to me, he work out, I work out, he changed machines. I'm wiping my stuff now. I get up and he's like, I'm like. So I go over there. I'm like, yeah. He was like, you said you're doing arms. Hit a machine right here. I said, I know. I was going to use all of these machines because the area we were in is the arm area. I was like, 
I was gonna use all of these machines, so I was gonna get to it. He's like, all right, cool. Then I get on another machine. He comes over there to me again. And he like, he said something and I can't even repeat it back to y'all because I don't know exactly what he was saying. But I had to ask him like, huh? And mind you, I keep having to take my AirPod out each time. And I like having to keep taking my AirPod out. So he was like, um, he said it. I didn't understand what he was saying. So he repeated it. He's like, basically, I'm saying, can I get that machine after you? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, 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 never mind. The one next to you came open, available. I was like, okay. And then after that, he just stopped talking to me. I guess in his mind, he got the point that she not checking for me. But in my mind, I was like, what are you talking about? Like, because I guess folks be flirting with me and I don't be catching it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, doing the little kill. I'll be doing all of that, dodging it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't be knowing what they be talking about. So, yeah. I guess he said, I'm about to stop trying to talk to her because she keep curbing me and I ain't got time for that. And it was not that I was curbing him. I wasn't interested because... You ain't about to have me getting down on my knees proposing to you. Mm-mm. Jim Jones, I'm good. No, no. We good over here. Um, so I was like, nah. And then two, I'm just in the gym. I wanna I wanna get rid of my midsection and my arms and my cellulite. And y'all be up in here bothering me, distracting me. Stop. So, I mean, it's, it's set for Gerald LeBert. Now, we can speak about Gerald all day. We can talk about him. But anybody else, I ain't got nothing for you. So, he finally left me alone. And, y'all, I just really was sitting there in the gym. And I was like, you know, I had already had in my mind I wasn't going to stay long. But the reason why I wasn't going to stay long was... The place where I wanted to get some hot wings from down the street was about to close. I, 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 I'm just going to be honest about it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Y'all like, this girl done went to the gym and now she leaving the gym early so she can get hot wings before it closed. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Because I have been craving them hot wings since yesterday. And I did not get to get them. And I don't want to say they hot wings, but they wings. I have been craving them since yesterday. And I wasn't going to let that go by me today. It was not going to slip by me. So I said, bet I got a good 45 minutes before I need to be heading that way. <laughs> so I can get my wings and things. Yeah, I did. Judge your mama, don't judge me. So I got my wings and I still haven't ate them. They sitting over there. So I need, but I'm talking to y'all. I'm talking to y'all because I want to take my shower first because I know when I eat them, it's over for your girl. That's it. That's all. So I just wanted to tell y'all, I'm going to call it Gym Chronicles because I always have a story after I come back from the gym. So I'm going to start calling it Gym Chronicles. But I'm about to eat my hot wings. And then I have a package. I didn't come to y'all yesterday because I was so tired. But I have a package from Shein. And I'm going to open that for you all. I'm not going to do a try on because it's kind of like... <laughs> I am tired. It's just some athletic gear that I purchased so I can be looking cute in the gym so I'll show y'all and I'll link it in case y'all want it but I'm about to eat my wings y'all so I'll be back I think I'll be back I hope I'll be back because I get tired and be like I talk to them tomorrow but I'm gonna call y'all back all right bye hey y'all how y'all doing today oh me I'm doing I'm blessed because I'm alive, but I'm sad. Y'all already know that. 
Oh my goodness. Now how am I supposed, let me just stop right here. Would you gonna run in the back of me? Because the fire truck is right here. Damn. Anywho, y'all. Um. Y'all, what was I talking about? I was talking about how tired I am. But I am on the way to get my hair done. My appointment is at 8 o'clock. So I am on my way there to get my hair done. I'm thankful that she do late appointments like that because my work schedule be a little iffy anyway. So eight o'clock is perfect and she work on Sundays. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. I would have got my appointment on a Sunday, but she didn't have a Sunday available that I needed. So my next appointment is on a Sunday, but this one I had to do on a Wednesday. So it's perfectly fine so yeah that's where i'm headed so you're finna piss me off like where are you going because it's a red light y'all get on my nerves out here some days i promise y'all do you got one more time and then i'm brake checking y'all see my hair is straight i ended up wrapping it two days ago because I knew I was getting I don't know if I said this to y'all in the last vlog I don't know I mean not the last vlog but yesterday but I ended up wrapping it because I knew I was getting it done today so I was I really didn't have time to pin curl it so y'all act like it is take a mathematics to make a right turn so anywho yeah, I didn't get to pin curl it because I was just tired and I didn't want to. So I ended up wrapping it because I knew that I was going to get my hair done today. So that's why you see it kind of like flat like this. It was actually cute. It just got like a little bentness right here that I ain't really feeling. But it was cute. A lot of people said they liked it. My roots a little, they getting a little thick. So it was time to get it washed. But other than that, it held up. So... I'm happy. I'm just kind of nervous with what I'm about to get because I don't know. She's like, we can transition between natural hairstyles and then blowing it out. So, I don't know, y'all. Y'all know I was a little iffy about this and I was, you know, I'm, I got okay with it. Now, I'm okay with this. You're taking me to something else. It's just too much. It's just too much. I can't handle change like that. Change me, oh God. Make me more like you. Yeah, I can't handle change well, y'all. I'm just being honest. But I better get used to it because God is about to change my life. So I better start accepting change and moving along with it. And that's an amen right there. That's an amen. And my new... My new saying is, keep on talking because you're saying something. Keep talking because you're saying something. Meaning, I ain't going to stop you because you ain't told not one lie. <laughs> keep on talking because you're saying something. So, when y'all see the change, just know it's a change. And know I'm scared as everything. So, y'all see y'all when I get there, though. Talk to you later. All right, bye. Man, strawberry shake man, I spread a y'all. Make your whole clip break there. Spend, spin, head spin, flatline, you dead then. Nine shells, man, ten. Door open. You fancy, huh? Yeah. I'll wait out here. Okay. <sighs> Ooh. She finishing up with somebody, but I am kind of early, so that's cool. I just couldn't wait, y'all. I just couldn't wait. Better watch her. She funny.
Hey my good people, so I am back from getting my hair done and this is it. Hope y'all could see that. <laughs> Not the finger wave, honey. Not the finger wave going on at the side of my head. But it's just basically like a little two strand twist out so I take it out tomorrow. And just kind of wear my natural hair. Yeah. I don't know about that one. We're going to see how it worked though. But she did ask me was I on any medication or muscle relaxers. And I was like no. Why? She was like because you still have a little shedding. And I was like well what could that be? And she was like well. I told her no. She was like, well, I don't know. I was like, well, what else possibility could it be? And she was like, it could be stress. I say, you own the something right there. And she, I was like, because I do have a very stressful job. And she was like, well, just try not to stress. If I could figure that out, I would have done that years ago. Try not to stress. Girl, do you know what you just said to me? I try not to stress, but every day is something different. But we, 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 we not about to get on that because that's a whole nother hour plus some, you know what I'm saying? So, anywho, but I was just backing up in my garage and like my neighbor's lights are on like in their house. So I clearly see them looking out the blinds, like peeking. Excuse me, ma'am. You in my business? Don't do that. Because first of all, I have to back into my garage a certain way. It's like a science to it because I have another vehicle. So I'm trying to put as much space as I can in the middle so that when I open the doors to these vehicles, I'm getting in and getting out of these vehicles. They're not hitting each other. And the fact that y'all peeking at me, like they peek one time and I can see them go sit down. And then I see them peeking again and then sit down and keep peeking and peeking and peeking and peeking. Uh-uh, don't do that. Because you're going to make me nervous and it's going to make me look like I can't drive. And I don't like that because I know I can. And the way that I have to do it is kind of like I'm maneuvering, pulling in, backing out like to an angle. It's going to make it look like I can't drive. And the fact that you're sitting there watching me is not helping. So y'all need to go to sleep. It's, it's, it's sleep time. It's 10, 11. Go to bed because you're bothering me. <laughs> you all in my business and I don't like that. Because these quarters right here, I mom, no, I don't. No, I don't. Because I be in everybody else's business. So, how I'm going to talk about them being in my business? I be in they business, they business, they business, and everybody business. Because I'm going neighborhood watch. Because I pay a mortgage here. And I'm calling the police on something that I don't think is right. Anywho, um... And then the next thing I got to say is, so I'm sitting at the light and this, this car come turning like a bat out of hell. And I was like, look at them. Why are they driving like that? Only for me to end up at the light next to them. Now, when I get beside them, I smell pure marijuana. I don't know if y'all marijuana smokers know, but we can smell that coming from y'all car. You know what I'm saying? I can smell it. Yeah. So the fact that you sitting here driving like a bat out of hell. One. Two, your tent is tenting. And three, I smell weed. But then you'll turn around and say the man be bothering you. No, man. You bothered yourself. You got yourself in trouble. Because if you're going to be smoking and driving, chill, shawty. Chill. Chill with it. Drive slow. Drive the speed limit. But if I know my tent is tenting, I'm not going to be smoking marijuana and driving fast. Y'all be giving people a reason. Like, and I was at the light and we beside each other and this lane is going to end that I'm in. And I knew, I was like, I'm not even finna play race car with him because he going to take off like a fool. And he did. And I was like, when you get pulled over, I don't want to hear about you was profiled because you wouldn't because I would have pulled you too. Mm-hmm. 
I would have. Well, with that being said, it's time for me to go to bed. So, I will... Dang, I still ain't showed y'all my shit stuff. I'll show y'all that tomorrow. So, y'all have a good night and hopefully this hair turn out right. Be with me. Just be with me, y'all. Hey, y'all. So, I just got out of the gym, but basically just got out of the shower. And if y'all see me creeping down my stairs like this, it's because I was walking downstairs in the dark. And then I saw something on the wall and it was so big, like it was like a, a, a insect from back in the day or something, like some Jurassic Park stuff. And I ran back upstairs to get my camera so that I could show y'all. And now it has magically disappeared. It was giving me like the Cardi B vibes where she was like, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? What is that? Like, that's what it was giving me just now. And I'm not like a scary person, like bug, mm, bugs and spiders and stuff do not scare me. But this shit was big. And I don't know where it went. And that's gonna kind of bother me. What is it? I don't know. That's gonna kind of bother me, y'all. Hmm. That's what I get for trying to show y'all everything. I don't know where that thing went. But if I find it, I'ma definitely um show it to y'all. But anywho, I'm about to do a try on haul the sheet. Cause I know I've been telling y'all I'm gonna do this. And haven't. So I'm about to do the Shein try on haul for the athletic wear. <sighs> Y'all give me a second because I got to find this thing. Where it go? And how did it get in here? The world may never know. Okay, y'all. The first outfit that I have on is this little green two-piece set. It actually fits me very good. Um, it has like a little green detail going down the side. It has the little butt part that all the girls like to make it look like it's giving that little lift. It's a top um with sleeves well short sleeves we'll say but i will say this is really sucking me in like it's snatching baby it's snatching and i decided to get this in a small because um when i read the reviews online a lot of girls were saying that their top was loose when they got the medium and then some was like their top was loose, but their bottoms were too tight. But I decided to take a risk and go with um, getting it in a small. You know, I'm a, I'm not a very hippie girl, but I go outward this way. So I think it fit real good. And this is a size small. And I'll link it down below. It's doing what it need to do. <laughs> If I thought the dudes was on me in the Mitch Matt outfit, baby, when I come up in here looking like I'm snatched, but not really yet. <laughs> yes. What is it giving? It's giving cute. It's giving ready to gain. It's giving stomach getting flatter. So this is the first one I would say... It's a little, it's slightly tight around my arms, but I have big arms. But other than that, I don't have no complaints. I really do like it. It's cute. I like it a lot. 
Okay, y'all. So this is the second outfit. And it's just a black outfit. It has like a design going on the leg. But you really can't see it. Like it's textured. And then it's a little crop top to go with it. This one is the look. This is a medium. And this one is a little bit on the tighter side. I don't like this one as much. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it is, it's is—it's got a band right here. Let's see if I can get a little closer. It's a band right there. And it's like really, really tight. So if you don't have a super flat stomach that can give the illusion of fat. In my case, it really is fat. So it's not an illusion. It's there. And I don't like that. But I feel like once I start working out and I get toned up, it won't be a problem. This is how I look in the back. I will say, if you are a girl and you have large legs, like if you have thick ankles, and I'm not saying like cankles, but you just have a, a thick bottom leg, you might want to go up a size in these because... I have a small ankle and it was kind of difficult me pulling this up over my, uh, well, I don't want to say calf, but over my ankle. It was like a little tug I had to do. So you probably are going to need to go up a size. Um, the thing about going up a size, then the leggings might not fit as tight. I feel like if I'm squatting in these, I'm going to be kind of like pulling these up all night long throughout my workout. And I don't know if I like that. It's cute. It's giving cute, but it's giving, <sighs> yeah, you might not be comfortable in it. But we will see. Would I order this one again? No. Would I order that green one again in a different color? Absolutely. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, she in. Said you wanna be starting something. Got to be starting something. Okay, I'm liking this one. This one is giving like a little gray number with a little design on it or whatever or whatnot. It's cute. It feel a little bit more comfortable. I think I actually, I think the black one and the gray one may be the same exact one, but just different colors. But I'm not sure. And I can't really see. There's definitely a print on the black. And I think the print is like this. But you just can't really see it. But also I will say this. This material feel better than the black material. It still has that tight band right here. But for some reason it just feels different. I don't know why it feels different. And then... <laughs> Let me find out. It's trying to give me a little action. <laughs> eh, okay. But see, this one is cute. I like this one better. Um, You see it has the little design on the butt or whatever. It gives the girls the illusion of the butt lift. This is the actual scrunch booty. I don't know if it's giving scrunch on me, but... That's what it's supposed when you take it off, it's supposed to be like the little um scrunch booty. I will say with the ankles, the same thing on this one. If you have thicker ankles, be mindful because like the bottom parts of it is very small. I like it because I have small ankles, and I like it because I hate when leggings be sagging at the bottom because that's a small ankle girl probably now you big ankle girls like nice full legs yeah it may be an issue for you i want to use the word i'm jealous but y'all cute or whatever so um but like i said i've always had like smaller legs but this is sucking me in um it's snatching me it is a little bit tight on my arms um, because I do have, you know, larger size arms. That's part of what I'm working on. Y'all know that. Um, but what I do like is it's kind of compressing them. So if I'm in the gym working out, my flyaways don't look so bad because it's so tight. It's kind of holding them up. You know what I'm saying? So 
I like it or whatever. <laughs> Next turning. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I get the five pound dumbbell? Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, that's me in the gym all day. But really going to be aggravated when somebody says something to me. So I don't even know why I'm buying all these little tight fitted crop outfits. Because I'm going to be aggravated. Sir, I'm puppet. Pump it, pump, pump, pump it. I'm pumping it up. Why are you bothering me? But yeah, let me come up close so I can show y'all the design on it. The design on the butt part. It's cute or whatever. So would I recommend this one? Yes, I do like the gray. I feel like the material is different than the black. So go for it girl make sure y'all reading these sizes though because you see how i got a small in the shorts and then how everything else is like a medium know your measurements basically and read the comments and read what the other girls are saying and try to get your weight like if somebody is your height and you're the same weight excuse me see what size they recommend and then go with that i will order this one again cute i like it Okay, last but not least, I got the blue one too as well. Blue is my mm, blue is my favorite color, so I went ahead and got it in blue. It's cute. It actually feels very comfortable. Like it feels thinner than the other ones, but it feels soft, like more soft than the other ones too. Um, I will say I don't feel like it's sucking me in as tight as the black one or the gray one, but it's giving cute. Yeah, I like it. Once again, same across the board. Very small ankle holes. So if you have the large ankles like the thick, pretty nice legs, you might want to size up. But then when you size up, you run the risk of the leg is being loose. Like I probably could have gotten a medium in these to make it like snatch more to compress more. But then again, I mean, excuse me, not a medium, a small. If I did, I think I said a medium, but I could have got a small in this, but then this would have been super tight and the ankles probably would have been super tight. So I feel like the medium will fit. I think it'll do the purpose. I do like it they also have the um i don't know if y'all can see but the design on them this one is also the scrunch booty thing type i don't know if it's scrunching on mine but is there or whatever and this one is actually cute i really like it so I, I really wish it was a little bit tight and compressing me more, but that's all right. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think it's cute or whatever? Y'all want to purchase it? We'll, I will do a video after this telling you all how like it held up in the gym. Also, I ordered some bodysuits. I don't think I'm going to try those on because this was the athleisure, the athletic try on, not the dress clothes try on. Well, I want to say dress clothes, regular clothes try on, but I can show y'all what I purchased. So hold on. Okay. So y'all know I have um, the white bodysuit with like the little collared neck. And, oh, well, no, is it a collar net? One of them, I don't know, I can't remember. But I got it in pink, like a hot pink. And then I got it in this brown color as well. And then I got it in this, like, tannish, creamish color. I say cream color. And I think these are cute. Like this is a, I, you can throw this on with jeans. You could throw this on with like some dress pants if you wanted to. So that is what I got. So that is literally my Shein Athletic Haul. 
and that is it i hope y'all like these little cute little outfits my favorite out of all of them i've said it and i'm gonna say it again was the little green short outfit so i'm going to go back and order that again like i'm gonna order that in multiple colors because that's given honey she came in here she really didn't come in here to live she came up in here to get lifted okay I think that's it because I ain't got nothing else for y'all tonight. So, and I could not find Jurassic Park. So now I'm in here like, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. Because now I'm nervous. Like, where did you go? Why would you do that? I'm sleeping with one eye open. One eye open. Y'all have a good night. Good morning, y'all. How are you? Me, the struggle is real, but it's going to get better. Just always remember that. Y'all, my intentions were to get off work yesterday. Today is Saturday. Anyway, let's get that out the way. So y'all have not seen me in a few days. My intentions were to come home Friday and be very productive. But Mother Nature just would not let me be great. And the crazy part about it is all day at work, I was fine. Like I had even said to myself, oh, this month, this is going to be smooth selling because like, it really didn't indicate that it... Sorry, y'all, if there's too much TMI, but we girls, um, some of us, and if you're not a girl, then if you a male, then you done had... You know, you should know what girls go through. Like, we're grown. Come on. Grow up. So, I'm like, okay, when it was coming, like, it really wasn't no indication. Like, I felt good. Everything was fine until yesterday and then i went to work everything was cool i was chilling like it was totally fine then when i got home my energy was just so depleted like i was so tired so sleepy just so just could not get myself together then i decided now this is where I think everything went wrong at. And I should have known better. And I do know better. So if I know better, I should do better. But whatever. So I go and call myself wanting to, you know, relax a little bit more, chill a little more, cool out a little more. I make me an alcoholic beverage. What did I do that for? Because if you know, you know, when you are on your cycle, if you drink, it thins your blood. I don't know why I even did that. But I ate, drunk a drink, didn't even drink the whole thing. Just like, wasn't even feeling it no more. Fell asleep, like energy gone. Couldn't get it together. So I made myself get up because I was downstairs on the couch. Made myself get up. Came up here, took a shower, got in the bed. Really was in the bed like 8.45. Then I started watching some... I started researching some stuff on YouTube. You know, I decided to do some classwork. And so I was researching some stuff on YouTube. And then I just started... I woke up after that. And then I talked to my sister for a little while. We laughed together on the phone. And then... My stomach has just been kind of hurting a little bit. But... I think I messed up when I um, made that alcoholic beverage. I should have never done that. And I and I know better the next time. I knew better then, but I just was so adamant to get a drink. But anyway, today I don't really have nothing planned. I think this vlog is probably going to be a little boring, y'all. I ain't going to lie because I don't really have nothing going on. I'm going to run to TJ Maxx. Because I'm out, I'm almost out of my oil and I really do need that. I need to get some body cream, some lotion or so. I need to go do some returns at TJ, I mean not TJ Maxx, Target. I should have been did those, but I do work throughout the week. 
So I give myself grace and mercy for that. Uh, it's not like I'm just playing around, not doing nothing. So I'm going to go to TJ Maxx. I think I'm going to go to Sam's because my mom had wanted some of that smoked salmon. So I'm going to go pick that up for her. And then I'm going to come back to the house. And that's it. That's all. That's all she wrote. Hey, y'all. So I finally got dressed. Y'all know I don't be doing the most. And especially, uh, especially right now with <laughs> Mother Nature being here, I'm doing as least possible as I can. So all I got on is my gray um, hat. I haven't even taken my hair down yet, y'all. That's how life been life been. Then I just got on my red God is Dope hoodie with all this stuff in here, which is my phone and my keys. Uh, my little jean jacket, some gray leggings, and my little old school colorful vans. So, silver watch, my car lugger field bag, and I'm going to go throw on some silver hoops. So, this is what y'all getting today. I need to be, just in case when I go to TJ Maxx, because I am going to try on some things. Just in case I go there. I mean, not try on some things. I need to get some things from TJ Maxx. So, just in case I go there and I see something I like, I could slide this off easily and handle my business. So, y'all, let's get going. I'm going to stop at Chick-fil-A because I was going to make breakfast. I don't have time for that. It's already probably 2 o'clock now. So, let's go. Hey y'all, so I'm at Starbucks. I was going to go to Chick-fil-A and get the grilled chicken little bites or whatever, but the Starbucks line is very long and I don't feel like dealing with that right now. So let's see if Starbucks got my feta sandwiches. Well, my feta sandwich that I like. If not, I'm going to have to get something else because I'm not sitting in that long line. Starbucks line is long too. The um, drive through I didn't get in there just in case, so I'm going to just go in real quick. Child, I didn't even see the feta wrap on the menu. I'm going to just go to Chick-fil-A because that's what I had my heart set on. That's what I'm going to do. So let me just not even be like that and just go. So I'm going to Chick-fil-A, y'all. I just really wanted to get up here to let y'all know I lied. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Whenever you get to that merger point, follow behind this part. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right. How the hell she calling my name? How I get in it? No, but um, I just want to come back up here and tell y'all that I did lie. I said that I was getting some grilled nuggets. I didn't get that. I didn't, and I don't care. Because I'm going through some things right now. Um, I got a spicy chicken sandwich deluxe, but I didn't get fries. I just got the meal. I mean, I just got the sandwich, so... What I always tell y'all, don't worry about me, worry about your mama, <laughs> but I still love y'all. But I work out, and I'm seeing a little results or so, like I'm slimming down a little bit in spots that I want to slim down in, so I think I can do it. See y'all at TJ Maxx. Whew, thanks be to God for that cheat meal, y'all. It wasn't a cheat meal because I cheat every day, okay? I'm feeling better, y'all. So, y'all got energy, Alicia, for now. So, let's get on up in here in TJ Maxx and see what we can scope out. And it got a little hot, so I think I might take this coat off. I know y'all ain't waiting for me because I ain't going nowhere, baby. All right, y'all, let's go. Like damn, she and her move. 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 She lit, got money too. Like damn, she and her move. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't you packing out nobody's pants? He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Sucking my waist, so I'm loving my bands. Like a million views in a day. There's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Bae, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boobs in the bus, they plump. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like, I tell you, always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bops. Oh, she mad cause I'm taking her spot. If I was bitches, I'd hate me a lot. Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, get money too. Like damn, she in her mood. No friends, I don't fuck with the fake. Saying they 
love me but one in my place Step in the party, I'm looking the baddest So the paparazzi in my face Pretty bitch, but I came from the gutter Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger Going viral is getting them sicker Like what? Let's keep it a buck Bitch too boring, I'm stuck in a rut Let me get me wrong when I hop at the truck Pretty bitch like Lauren with a big ass butt, yup Pretty face and a waist all gone Yeah, I try to stay out of here I spend too much money when I come in here <laughs> <laughs> I try to keep it to a minimum, but I never do. Right. So how's your day been going? It's going well. How about you? Yes, ma'am. It's going okay. I'm a little tired, but I work through it. Huh? I say I'm a little tired, but I work through oh, it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Oh yes, ma'am. You'll work through it. And Thank you. Go, you. Ma yes, ma'am. Thank you. And you're looking all swifty as usual. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a little dressed down today. I, like I said, I'm tired today. Right. <laughs> All these days start running in together. Right, yeah. And that's it. Okay. Hey, man, we're going to appreciate you. All right, thank you so I much. Hope to see you again. Hope to see you soon, too, Mr. Chris. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you. Have a blessed day. Yes, ma'am. You too, honey. y'all this little haul of everything that I purchased today so I'm gonna start with the TJ Maxx stuff since we went there first so from TJ Maxx I got the Sandal and Fog Vanilla Sandalwood Scented Hand Soap this right here I have purchased this before it smells so good um, I had went to TJ Maxx a while back and tried to find it because I'm almost about to run out. They didn't have it and lo and behold, they have it. So this is how it looks. And it was $4.99. I ended up getting three of these. I got the last three actually. And what's in here? Oh, some Cocoa Magic Coconut Lavender heel and foot cream with nourishing coconut oil lavender oil and botanical extracts so this is how it looks and this was $4.99 then I have a by core clinicals oil control balancing gel cleanser with solidic acid and oil oh I'm talking about oil of ole about to say oil of ole um aloe vera and this is how it looks. Let's see. Can y'all see it or is it so bright? But um, it says gently washes away dirt, excess oil, and pore clogging impurities. I can not have oily skin sometimes and I also can have dry skin. But more so a combination because it started off like dry and then it gets oily throughout the day. So I wanted to try this. Then I got... Oleo, oleology, oleology, I don't know. Exfoliating foot mask, coconut and lavender. And this is it. I don't know if y'all can see it, if it's picking up or not. But that is it. Oh y'all, I'm sorry. The coconut, 
Magic was $4.99 and the, if I didn't say that, and the face wash was $3.99. $3 but anyway, back to this. This is the exfoliating foot mask. It is coconut and lavender, and I got that scent because the foot and heel cream is also coconut and lavender, so I was like trying to stick with the same scents. But like I said, I'm trying to make sure that I keep soft feet, keep soft skin, just good skin. So I want to try this out. I have some Cooking Corner 8 utensil, 8 piece utensil set, and it's like some bamboo spoons. And I'm going, I got these because I want to throw all my plastic spoons away. Like in my mind, I just kind of feel like, and I'm talking about like the plastic spoons where you're cooking in a pot with them. I just kind of feel like when it's heated, is a little bit of that plastic getting in my food. I don't like this. So I just want to go with the bamboo one and try this and see how I like it. And it's like two of them, just two spoons, two of the flat ones, two of the slotted, if you can see, two of the slotted ones and two of the spoons that have slots. So I just decided to get those and those were $5.99. Then I got the cosmetic brush cleaning mat and you basically put this down in your sink and you use your brush well you put your brushes on it and you clean it um you just kind of slide it up against if you can see it has like little grooves inside of there you slide it up against that and it cleans your brushes and this was $4.99 speaking of brush cleaner then i have the clinical works clean brush clean face makeup brush cleanser so i wanted to buy this Oh, I thought it was open. I wanted to buy this. Well, this is how it looked. I wanted to buy this because I don't have any makeup brush cleaner. So, I purchased this or whatever or whatnot. And that was $3.99. Y'all, they did not have the body oil that I usually get. I'm so bummed about that. Like, I really feel some type of way. So I had to get this one, which is hydrating and soothing vitamin E and hyaluronic body oil restore protect and it's coconut verbania. And it looks like this. This was $7.99. Hopefully it worked y'all because my other one, I do like it. So I had to get something because I was about to run out and I like being oiled up and trying to stay moisturized then i got the nivea body cream rich nourishing deep moisture serum this is body cream by nivea i know i know i know i know i know i know go ahead call me a liar call me what you want to call me but i had to get this candle i think i told y'all i wouldn't buy no more candles until i burnt a lot of the ones that i had i know because this is like this is my favorite candle, right? This has to literally be my favorite candle. For real, for real. It is the Patchouli and Oud. And it's by DW Home. Oh, I wish they had it in a bigger version. And I really didn't take the time to look. I should have, but I'm okay with this one. When I tell y'all, I can smell this. If I burn this, I keep this in my bedroom. If I burn this candle, I can smell it literally all the way downstairs. Not lying. Not lying. So I had to get this candle. Like, I wasn't leaving that in the store. And that was $7.99. Then I got some Goldie Super Fruit Gummies Vitamins. <sighs> I have not taken vitamins in a while. I'm not even going to lie to y'all like I haven't. So I need to start taking vitamins because I do not get vitamins and I don't eat the correct amount you're supposed to eat daily. I don't drink the amount of water. So I need to really start getting myself a little bit healthier because, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting on up there. 
And so I got to keep my gut good, my bones good, everything good. So I ended up getting these and these were $9.99. And that is the Goalie um, Super Fruit Gummies. Yep. And I did. And I do it again. Y'all. Y'all. Baby, 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 baby. Let me. Y'all, look at this candle. I'm going to take that off. But look at this candle. This looks so like sexy and so just beautiful that's the top it looked like a gift box or something and it's whiskey and leather southern california patchouli and clove when i tell y'all if i came up in a dude house and he was burning this I'm falling in love that night. <laughs> we in love. We go together. Why would you invite me over here and burn this candle? That don't even make no sense to me. And you didn't think I was going to love you and stalk you afterwards? Why? Why would you not think that? Oh, it smells so good. It just smells so good. Like, this is a masculine candle. I'm not even going to lie. I'm just joking about stalking because, yeah. But, um, anywho... This is real sexy to me. Like, and also, I'm going to put this up in my bedroom because y'all know my bedroom is going to have a little black in it. So, I'm going to sit that up there on the dresser and it's going to be like display. But if I find another one of these, I'm burning it. It smells so good. Like, this really smells like a man. I can't just, it's like almost like a soap smell, but... I can't describe it. I, it smelled like he just came up out of the barbershop with gray sweatpants on and that line going around his head so you know his line up real crisp and he about to go to the mall and get some new shoes. That's what it smelled like to me. So, yeah. Y'all get that candle and it was $7.99. Then I got me some little... <laughs> that's funny. Some little bedroom slippers child and they feel good or whatever or whatnot they're called they're by dear phones let me show them to you before i go putting them on they just some little gray bedroom slippers or whatever and um i really needed to get some because if y'all really see what i'm walking around in and i know y'all be hearing them but if y'all see them oh my goodness so I felt like, let me get something just to throw on real quick so I could walk around the house. And they're very comfortable. Like, they have a lot of cushion. And I paid $9.99 for those. Just something simple. And then I'm going to buy another pair where, like, my toes are out, too. But I just got to find something that I like. Because I don't like them hood-looking ones that the girls actually be wearing outside. I hate those. And my mom was like, you're not wearing those not even in the house so i gotta find me something cute and then i think last on the list was this cute little purse it don't have a tag on it or is it in the inside i don't know but anywho i don't see one but i thought this was so cute y'all look at the colors it's very much giving like spring vacation bag. Or I can just throw this on with like one of these colors. You know that shirt that I bought from Target today. That's going to be cute with this. And the receipt said that I paid $9.99 for it. I don't know if that's what it really cost. Or did he just, he couldn't find the um tag. And that's what he rung me up for. Because. I don't know what it was. I don't know how much it was, but $9.99 is good for me. Ain't it cute? And it's like, it got enough space to like put your makeup and your phone in there. It's just enough. It ain't real. Let me see if I can show y'all. See, this is how big it is in the inside. It don't open really wide, but it's enough to put what you need in there, in there. And it also has like a um, little strap 
So if you want to carry it with the strap on it as well, you can do that. I probably will be carrying it um, with the handle. But I think that is really cute. This was the last one. I'm glad I walked over there because I usually don't walk over there on the purse aisle. So I'm glad I picked this up though. And that is it for the TJ Maxx haul. So I'll try to link all this stuff below or write what it is below. And y'all can go look for it or whatever if you're interested. And that is that. Now let's get into the Target haul. Oh yeah, and I have one more thing from TJ Maxx, which is some um, olive oil. It's some it's Sparta Groves. This is it. I like to get my um olive oil from TJ Maxx because believe it or not, when you go to the grocery store, olive oil is more expensive in the grocery store than it is in TJ Maxx. And this be the good olive oil. So I always just get my stuff from TJ Maxx. So now we're finished with the TJ Maxx. Okay, so let's get into the Target. Girl, I just got some feminine products. We we know what those are. We don't need to go in depth with it. But then I got some Smart Mouth mouthwash. I actually learned about this through Peyton. And she said one of her PayPal told her about it. And it works really good. And so I've been using this for like a month or something now. So I, I think that it works good too. Uh, it's kind of expensive on the on the expensive side for a mouthwash, but if it worked, it worked. And I think this was like nine to ten or eleven, between nine and twelve dollars. But like I said, if it worked, it worked. Then I got a flamingo razor, and this is this, and it comes with the razor and the little shower holder as well as two cartridges so i'm trying to i don't know if i ever told y'all so i have strawberry legs and it wasn't until i got older that i really even knew that i found out that that was like a condition like basically from not like exfoliating and not taking good care of your skin and stuff like that like i didn't grow up knowing to like exfoliate knowing to do that so i always wondered why i had like those dark spots on my legs but i never knew why it wasn't until like when i got older like i said that i figured out just basically recently i figured it out so now i'm working on getting my legs uh smoother and not having that those dots on my legs and i have been exfoliating literally every day i know you're not supposed to exfoliate every day i exfoliate almost every day and i use the exfoliating glove every day basically that's what i shower with so i am starting to see a difference in the way my skin feel as and the way it looks so i wanted to get a good razor because ra shaving is also a part of having that look on your legs so i know harry's is a good razor for men so i was about to buy a harry's razor but then i started googling it and flamingo is actually made by harry's it's the female version though so i bought this because this is supposed to be a good razor and helping with the smooth shave so that's why i purchased this very long-winded i know but I'm like I said I'm trying to take better care of my skin so I'll let y'all know how that works and I got the quilt let's see the what are they called brush head refills because I already have the toothbrush um, which is from Target so I just needed the refills to remove because it's time to remove it so I purchased those and then oh like that i got the native deodorant right here in juniper and ginseng hopefully y'all can see it so like i was saying i don't know if y'all was able to hear me in target but i do not wear the native from the female section i wear native from the men section it smells better it just smells more fresh scent. It smells more mask. I don't want to use the word masculine because it's not like if you walk up on me as a man, you're going to be like, damn, you smell it like a dude. I don't want to talk to her because, like, she smells like me. It, it, it's not like that. It's just like a not that fruity 
girly scent. It's just really not. So I decided to go with a different a different scent and try this juniper and ginseng because I usually get sea salt and cedar. But I thought that this smelled good, so I wanted to try it. But like I said, y'all, the Cremo was definitely out except for um, Salo Panto. I think that's how you pronounce it. I would have purchased Cremo way long ago, but I didn't know that there is no difference between men body wash and women body wash except for one smells masculine and the other one don't. So, like I said, I knew about the Cremo a while back, like I want to say like months ago, almost a year ago, but I just thought that there was a difference, so I never got it. But shout out to Kyra girl, because she put the girls on, so. Oh, I got some Cetaphil moisturizing um, face lotion or whatever. I'm trying different moisturizers because moisturizer can tend to make my skin oily so i want to try different ones to see how they work so we'll see how that goes then y'all i did go ahead and get that green and white blouse i think this is just so cute even when i took it up to the register and the girl was bringing it up she's like oh my god these are so cute so i got the green and white one as well as the pink one and y'all, I just want y'all to see what I'm talking about. See what I'm talking about. Look how cute that can be together. Like, for real. Even if you into, like, the patterns and stuff, it's even cute with this. Like, I know that I would do this. I would. But that's me. That's me. You have to see it all together. I think it would be very, very cute. So, I ended up getting these shirts. They were... $25 each so go me I'm happy about this purchase about to go right on up there hang them up and then try last but not least well it is yeah whatever this bag right here so y'all see this bag is pink and green it is not for me I purchased this bag for my sister. I called her on FaceTime and was like, look. And I showed her that bag. And she was like, oh, that's cute. And um, she was like, where is that? Where you at? And I was like, Target. And she was like, how much is it? I was like, $35. She was like, $35? Damn. You know, sometimes black people can really get on my nerves. Because let me tell y'all something about my sister. The back, Then she saw the sign in the back. It said 20% off purses, accessories, sunglasses and stuff. She saw it say 20% off back there. I was like, well, I'll take it up to the register and I'll see what it is. So she's like, thank you. First of all, she knew I was going to get it. Second of all, let me, let me tell y'all about my sister. So, my sister is that girl that got every bag, that girl that got every shoe. Like, I mean, got all the Hermes bracelets, Louis Vuitton bracelets, Hermes built, big belt buckle, um, Chanel bag here, Chanel bag there, Gucci boot, well, Chanel boots here, Gucci bag there. She got it. I mean, I don't know nobody like the people that I actually know, not like Instagram people, but I'm talking about in my life. I don't know nobody that got more name brand stuff than my sister. She'll go drop six bands, six style and stuff on Chanel bags and stuff and YSL bags. But say a $35 Target bag is too much? Make it make sense for me, cause it ain't. Black people would do that all day. We would drop thousands of dollars on something and then go into, we go to Chick-fil-A. They raise the price $1. Damn! Uh-uh, that's too expensive. I don't want it. But yet, we drive Mercedes. We got Chanel bags, Gucci bags. I just, it's just so funny to me. She does that all the time. She'll come to my house and be like, oh! Your refrigerator, fool, you must be rich, rich. Well, what the hell do you have in your refrigerator? 
but you carrying that YSL bag, you got three other bags in your suitcase. Is that what you eating? I'm just mind my business. Now I know she ain't, you know, she ain't scraping for a dollar. I'm just saying she just be being real cheap when it comes to how you be cheap when it comes to cheap stuff, but you when it when it comes to expensive stuff, you all for it. I got your bag. And I'm going to hold it over your head. You know you got to do a little thing for a piece of change for me. You watching this. You see it. You know You know where you can find your bag at. Come see me. Holla at your girl. Yes. So that is it for today's haul, y'all. And then I went to Sam's Club and I got my mom some of the um, roasted smoked salmon that she wanted that I've showed y'all before. And then I got some juices or whatever. But that's it for today. I am done. I am shopped out. I done spent too much money. I'm over it. I don't even, you know how you feel good. I don't even feel good about my purchases today because I'm like, I didn't go in there for none of this stuff. Like, well, I did. But not all of it. And I just... I discuss myself sometimes. I do. But, um... Thank y'all for always watching me. Y'all be in the comments gassing me. And it just got to me this month. And I don't... I just feel loved. And I thank y'all. I thank y'all so much. And so please... Thank you. Just thank you so much. That's all I can say. And tell a friend about me. You know, if you like me, tell a friend about me. Tell them to tell their friend about me. Make sure they like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so they will know when your girl, which will now be they girl, will be dropping these videos. Why? You know, because help a friend so a friend can help you. You know what I'm saying? We helping each other. We help each other on this channel. We uplift each other. We do big things over here. We're going to be doing big things over here. So, you know, if there's anything y'all want to see me do or whatever, not, not no crazy stuff now, y'all, because I ain't going to be responding to, like, go jump off a building and that type of stuff, Sky. But, you know, go here, go there. You know, somebody asked me to do a video, um, a cooking video, and with pairing wine to it, I'm going to do that. Give me a chance. I didn't forget about you. I'm going to get it done. I just got to get my life together, basically. So, with that being said, y'all have a good night. Again, thank y'all so very much for always being so positive in my comments. Just being, just for watching me. Like, just for really just wanting to know more about me. I, I truly am grateful and I'm thankful. So, Love y'all. Talk to y'all later.